about it, is we're really, really taking this to the next level. Okay, so let's just go ahead and have fun and customize um, our stuff, okay? We'll click to customize news, okay? Okay, what keywords do we want for new news? Um, do we want to, uh, let's just do carrot. Let's see what happens, carrots. Um, and we can, very, very cool here, these are the icons that are going to be on the bottom of the screen. Um, you can go and pick any one of those. Um, you, you'll see what I mean um, on your iPhone. That's going to be in the, the bottom, like, eighth of the screen. Um, you'll, you'll be able to see it there. So let's just go pick, let's just pick something randomly. News. Um, see if we can find something that represents news. Okay. How about these sunglasses? These sunglasses look like they're good news, don't they? Okay. There we go. Let's go pick the sunglasses. And we'll go ahead and click submit there. Oh, lost it. Still loading. Okay. So now news is going to be represented by those sunglasses, okay? And the keyword is going to be carrots, okay? And what's very, very cool is it can actually go and show you a preview what it's going to look like okay so you can see here down um, you can see here down that's what I meant by the tab it shows news down there and then with the t with the keyword carrot it went and pulled all this different news related to carrots okay lasagna with roasted eggplant mushrooms and carrots from the New York Times spice carrots and pumpkin tart from taste.com never let anybody make you a carrot whatever that means already choke carrot speed so you can see what it does is it pulls relevant feeds and articles based around your keyword. Okay, so that's very very cool stuff. And you can do other keywords or stuff. So let's just leave it as carrots for now. Okay, let's go ahead and return to the tab list. So you can see that one. There's that little checkbox there, and um, everything's good. Now what we're going to do is let's just go ahead and do our photo gallery. Okay, um, and we're going to go and pick. You know, this is going to pull photos automatically from Flickr to go ahead and populate. You can pick if you want it from an original individual account, pull from the uh, from a Flickr account. So right now the Flickr account we want is the Whole Foods account here. So the name of the Whole Foods account is Whole underscore Foods. So all you got to do is stick in that right there. Let's just do photos. Foodie. Let's just call it Foodies. Okay. And let's do a save and reload and see how that works. There you go. So these are actually all the photos coming from the Whole Foods uh, Flickr account. Um, actually, I have the Whole Foods Flickr account open here. So these are the, you know, you can see here, these are actually the photos they've just posted. And it does it dynamically. So if they do new photos, it's going to go show up. And you can see here the same photos are went ahead and posted as well, okay? Very, very cool stuff. And there's that little icon, foodies, down at the bottom. Let's go ahead and capitalize that. Let's go ahead and capitalize that there. Okay, save and reload. And let's go back to the tab list. So now we have two tabs. We have news about carrots and foods from Whole Foods. Okay. The next thing we want to do is we just want to add the Whole Foods uh, Facebook account. Okay. Um, in the Facebook account, I went and found it. I found it earlier, somewhere around here. Oh, it's facebook.com forward slash Whole Foods. Okay. Um, let's just go ahead and open that over there. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool stuff. So what this is going to do is this is going to go ahead and link in to the Whole Foods Facebook account. So let's go ahead and add that in there. And we'll, we'll leave the Facebook icon up there. And we just hit save and reload. And you can see there, um, you can see there, there it shows all the Facebook account activity from Whole Foods Market. So you can just go and hit the little tab there and go ahead and see it, okay? Let's go return to the tab list. You see what we're doing? We're, we're automatically creating a mobile app on the fly. It's pretty, pretty cool stuff. Okay. Um, next thing um, about us. Um, this is this is very very straightforward. Um, this is just fill in text fields, whatever. Like, hi, we are Whole Foods. We love healthy eating. Okay. And you know you can contact us. 
does us, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay. And this is kind of just a general blank text space. You could put in any information you want. Um, if you know, if you if you want to make a recipe app, you would do something like this. You just go paste in your recipes, and you can see there's a what you see, what you get editor, so you can put in anything in there. Okay. So it's really really simple stuff. You know, it's a really good canvas. Okay, there, and you can put links or whatever you want to do. Okay. Obviously, I didn't make that very nice, but you can see generally what it does. Okay. And the last of the modules that I picked, remember I had like 12, 13 modules to pick from, but I only picked, I only picked five for a little demonstration, okay? Um, is the Twitter search, and we'll go show you there. Um, in term, remember we can do the keyword search, or we could actually do a Twitter user account. Um, in this case, we're just doing a keyword search, and um, where, do you want to do carrots again? Or carrots or pie? Let's do pie, okay? Pie. Okay, tab title Twitter, and let's do a save run. Let's see what happens when we put in the Twitter keyword pie. Kind of scared, actually. Well, that's weird, weird stuff. Okay, obviously that's not working for pie. So let's go ahead and try something else. Let's try carrot. There you go. I'm offering a red velvet cupcakes and carrot cupcakes, both with cream shade frosting, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there. So what it's doing is it's pulling coat post based on carrots. You can see here all the different carrots coming in are actually coming in in a real time uh, in a real time feed from Twitter. So you can also put in people's usernames if uh, you want and just follow the posts coming from those people or such. Okay. Now let's go back to the tablets. Now I think we are just about done with that part. Let's go ahead and save and continue. Now we want to do is the order that we, we want them to go and be in, okay? So let's go ahead and move that around. Let's put the Twitter account there up. News, photo gallery, Twitter keyword, Facebook account, about us. The order that we want the modules, okay? Then we want to go and do the final preview, obviously. And this goes and shows us our basic app, okay? Oh, obviously it kind of messed up because I put in a picture with really, really bad dimensions. It shouldn't have that scrolling on there, but that's my fault. Um, you can see here at the beginning, there's all the different social media sharing up there, and that actually will go to the sites there. There's the directions. Remember, if you click there, you get to Google Maps. You click there, it'll call you. You do that there, it'll go ahead and email you. Um, here's the news. You see, there's the news. There's, you know, there's the foodies, which was there. There's a Twitter feed, the Facebook feed, and and then we have the home and the about us feed. Okay, so as soon as we're good with our app, the last thing we need to do is we just simply go and click the build app button. Okay, now the build app button will actually go ahead and um, you could do a, a debug build or something if you want to go and you know just go and do it on your own um, on your own phone. Um, for there, or you can do a full on release build, which will go and generate in this case an app that can go on both the um, you know the Android store and the um, and the Apple iOS store. So in this case, it needs to know the developer name. Developer name: Greg Jacobs. And then we just hit release build. Okay. And we wait. We go and wait a minute, and then what it does is it goes and creates us a fully fledged working. Thing. And then you're done. You can see this page here. Um, again, we don't have the big fancy icons and buttons yet. Please forgive it. Um, but you can see here that um, it gives you two little links: one to download download the uh, iOS version for uh, iPhone and iPad, and one to go download the uh, the Android version as well. Okay. So now you're like. Cool. Okay, that was just a very, very basic demo. Um, you know, we're, what we're doing is we're aiming for a commercial release on July 10th. Um, that's where we're going to release it to the public. Um, we're probably going to release it privately uh, to you guys uh, probably about a week before, so somewhere around July 3rd or July 4th. However, it is going to be ready to go on about, we're guessing around. June 14th, June 15th, about two, three, about two weeks from now, um, and that's going to be all prettied up with all the training in place and such. Um, if you want to go get a copy of Sky Builder, um, 
then we have a way for you to go ahead and get it um, actually tomorrow so Friday June 1st depending on when you're watching this video the way that you're going to be able to get it um, is by going and purchasing another product and we'll, what we're going to do doing is we're going to be giving you Sky Builder as a bonus. Now before you go and run in circles, you're like, oh God, God, Greg, Greg, why do I need another product? I just need Sky Builder. Sky Builder is the best. That's all I want. Won't you just sell me Sky Builder? I know all your stories. I know all your lines, guys. Um, the reason why I want you to go buy this other product for Sky Builder is because it is the perfect and now literally perfect complementary product. Now as I want to describe to you, what Sky Builder does is it goes and builds apps in quantity. So what, what essentially happens is you're able to go build tons and tons of apps in just minutes and you essentially go and make your money through quantity. Um, creating a huge network of apps, cross-populating, cross-promoting, and also going and selling your services to local businesses and small businesses as the app guy or the app girl. You're like, hey, I'm Greg. I'm going to go make you an app. I'll charge you a thousand bucks. You know, and you get into Sky Builder, you know, probably with all the research and setting stuff up, it might take you a little more than five minutes. And then you give them your app. They're happy. They pay you. You're done. You go to the next client. Um, so that's how you, that's how you do it with Sky Builder.